Hi friends, uh, I'm really sorry. It's been, I know it's been a while since I uh, did the progress video. Uh, and the reason is we hadn't made any uh, real progress for the last uh, month or so. Well, since the last video anyway. Uh, still working on the homing circuit. Um, it's been quite a journey. We tried all sorts of chips and you know, lots of data sheet reading and head scratching and uh, why is it not working and i say we because uh, my son piero uh, helped a lot i'm very lucky he was here uh, helping around with uh, this and uh, yeah so last weekend we got the machine homing and it's exceeding all of my expectations i am super super happy with the result um, it's it's homing to the tenth of a thousand uh, repeatable every time so incredible so uh yeah it's still on the uh, all on the breadboard with the uh, wires uh, flying everywhere it's super messy right now but once on the motherboard it's going to be uh, nice and clean so um, let's have a look at it okay so the machine is homing right now and if we look below here we have this uh plate here which is adjustable with slots that is moving and you can uh, and it's gonna move in front of this uh, you can look at the lead here which is lighting up so um, yeah it moves in front it triggers the the the, the, the um, uh, proximity uh, sensor and then it moves uh, back slowly so that's pretty much uh, how the homing is done. This is the mechanical part. Uh, I have this uh, box here, which uh, will protect um, the, uh, you know, chips from sticking to the the, the, the proximity switch. Uh, any uh, chips will stay on top, and any one that would might come in will hopefully uh, fall down. So yeah. That's the that's the mechanical setup. So now let's have a, a look at the, more the, the electronic parts of it. Um, <clears throat> so before we look at the electronics, I just wanted to uh, do some theory first. Um, so the way the homing is uh, done, um, the 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 metal plate will uh, while homing will be uh, moving towards the proximity sensor and as soon as it reaches or triggers the the proximity sensor then it start uh, it reverse uh, direction and start moving back until it um, disengages uh, with the, the the proximity sensor and then uh, instead of stopping and homing because this is not super precise so once we've triggered it, we start moving back, but once it's untriggered, we keep moving back um, until we hit the index of uh, the encoder. And this encoder is the encoder for the, the servo motor. That's the, uh, the part that tells the servo motor where it is uh, in its uh, rotation. And this particular uh, encoder has uh, 2,000 uh, pulses in one uh, revolution. And it also has uh, one pulse per rev, uh, which is called the index. Uh, it has this one single signal every uh, turn. And this is what we're looking for. So once we've disengaged with the the, the proximity switch, uh, the the machine still is still moving, so the the motor is still um, making the 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 the, the screw uh, turn, so that the axis is still uh, moving until it hits the the index of the encoder, and this is the homing and the index of the encoder will always be very 
precisely at the same place. It, you know, it doesn't vary at all. So uh, this is um, this this is the ticket for precision uh, homing, really using the index of the encoder. But the index of it, uh, since it, there's only one uh, signal per rotation, that signal is super short. Uh, if the motor is moving pretty fast, uh, the signal could be so short that um, the, the microprocessor from the, the, the control of the CNC might miss it. And this is why we're using a chip called a flip-flop, which is sort of a kind of a, a bit like a switch. Uh, it's a, a latch uh, which um, toggles on or off. And that um, uh, that particular chip has a, a speed of uh, 25 billionth of a second uh, response. So it's, you know, it's super, super fast. So um, that, 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 that flip-flop chip is not going to miss the signal from the, uh, the encoder. And then it's gonna latch and stay latched so that on the next uh, clock turn, uh, when the microprocessor uh, comes around, uh, then it's going to uh, for sure uh, read that the uh, the encoder index has been uh, reached and home the machine. And it's been well. I'm going to show you, but it's uh, very repeatable. I'm very happy. So let's have a look this time at the Messi Electronics. Okay, so from the proximity sensor, we have this wire, which comes here, and here is uh, the start of the mess. Uh, we have uh, 12 volt and uh, ground, and the signal from the switch, the sensor. Uh, that signal goes uh, to the flip-flop and also we have this uh, other wire that comes from the, the, the encoder of the servo motor. It goes into this uh, little gizmo and through this wire it goes to the drive uh, for the feedback loop, uh, the position. And I'm uh, intercepting the uh, the signal from the index of the encoder through this uh, wire that goes also. Well, first, because uh, my uh, encoder gives uh, plus five volt when it's uh, not on the index and zero volt when it's on the index, I need to flip this around. So I have this uh, uh, inverter here, this chip. It, it takes, uh, if you give it uh, five volt, uh, it's going to give zero volt and vice versa. So the signal from the index of the encoder goes through this in inverter and then goes to the flip-flop. And uh, the flip-flop here uh, is waiting from the signal of the switch first, then it's sort of, uh, it, uh, it latches, so the CNC knows it reached uh, its, uh, its proximity switch. Then the machine starts turning back until it uh, leaves the proximity switch, but the flip-flop is waiting for the index of the encoder to uh, toggle and send a signal to the control, the controller here, that uh, we've... Uh, moved out of uh, the, the, the proximity switch and we've reached the uh, encoder index and then the control will uh, home the machine. So uh, yeah, that's the, that's the mess here. Well, everything here is pretty much a mess, but uh, yeah, it's going to be nice and clean later on. Now, uh, we have this uh, meter here. Uh, actually, um, give me just a minute because uh, we need to uh, turn off uh, the, um, I'm going to go into settings and uh, disable the, 
the soft limit so that I can uh, demonstrate something. So I'm just going to save the settings. Okay, so uh, next, uh, now I should be able to make do my demonstration. So this here, this meter here is um, monitoring the signal from the index. And as I said earlier, uh, when we are on the index, the encoder sends a zero volt signal. So this is uh, pretty much zero volt here. And if I home the machine, so I'm just clicking on this uh, homing for the Y axis. And if you, I'm going to zoom in a bit, this, uh, this mark here on the top uh, um, shows the that the, um, the, 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 we are on the, pretty much on the index. So I'm going to home the machine. You see it's moving back until it reached the top. And now it's homed. I'm going to do it again, but this time while we're looking at the meter. So I'm homing right now. As you can see, we get the five volt signal because we're not on the index. And as soon as it reaches uh, the homing, we're back at the index signal and this is uh, crazy cool <laughs> now uh, zoom out again um, i'm going to jog the machine but uh, by one uh, tenth of a tau one tenth okay over here and i'm going to jog just one step so as you can see here we're one tenth of a tau and if we look at the meter we're no longer on the index we are uh, at five volts now let's move back one tenth sure enough back on the index and then move past by one tenth again minus one tenth and sure enough we're out of the index, back on zero, zero volt. Ain't that amazing? Okay, so uh, just uh, another uh, quick demonstration. This time I'm gonna re-enable the, the soft limit, save the setting, and I'm going to move the Y axis uh, just to show again, we're on the index. I'm going to move the y-axis by four inches. And when I click enter, uh, the machine will move in rapids four inches. Okay, of course, uh, we're no longer in the index. And now I'm going to move back. So y zero enter and ta-da so even in rapids the machine goes back to the tens of a thou uh, precision so uh this uh, i guess will uh, conclude uh, this uh, this video um I'll have uh, in the description of the video uh, a link to uh, the schematic of um, this uh, flip-flop uh, arrangement here. So you can, I mean, it's going to be much clearer than looking at the breadboard. Uh, and I guess uh, next, uh, my next step would be to uh, uh, design uh, in uh, CAD where the limit switch for the, um, the you know the, the, the proximity sensor uh, switch thingy will be uh, for to um, home the x-axis so uh, this is uh, pretty much going to be the next uh, step uh, and also um, I have a few um, sensors and stuff that I uh, uh, bought like um, 
uh, temperature, uh, you know, uh, sensors for the coolant and the spindle temperature. Um, also, I have a coolant level uh, sensor, which is really cool. Um, but I still, you know, I want to test it and make sure it works with the control um so that um you know i can finalize the the, the... also i have a sensor for uh, hair pressure uh, so these are the three uh, components i want to test before i finalize the motherboard and uh, order it uh, so that it's made and we can solder the parts and clean up this mess okay so uh I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Hope you uh, enjoyed it and maybe learned something.